Merci beaucoup, Monsieur Barney, for the superb role you've played to winning the backing of all 28 member states uh, to no hard border in, on the island of Ireland and to the peace process. Uh, and I, you know, as we all do, that both are interlinked. I'm from Belfast, and I've been involved in politics and peacemaking for the best part of my professional life. The greatest day of that life was the referendum result on the Good Friday Agreement that we fought for. And that was the overwhelming yes in Ireland, both north and south. The worst day of my professional life was the result of the Brexit referendum. And for many throughout the UK, and particularly in Northern Ireland. Brexit is bad for Britain, but it's even worse for Northern Ireland. But I've always been an optimist. I'm well known in this place for that. And I believe there could be a light at the end of the tunnel. First, the people of Northern Ireland, as has been said here, voted to stay in the EU. And second, the citizens have the right, thanks to the Good Friday Agreement, to be Europeans and to remain Europeans no matter what happens. And I thank you for recognising that within the backstop, which I believe is our second best option. Obviously, our best option is for the UK to find ways to stay in. That's another story. Uh, I'm, I want to say quickly that the EU has been good to Northern Ireland. And your support for the Peace Group programme in the Delore days was exceptional. And that's the, that's the symbol of the Delore Peace programme. But I want to find a little criticism, only 16 seconds left. The EU has been good to Northern Ireland, to Cornwall, to the UK in general, but you've been too quiet about it. You don't shout about that loud enough. The citizens don't know it. So I want to ask you two difficult questions and one simple one. First of all, will you consider extending Article 50? And will you get asked the backing of the other member states for that? Jane. OK. Holding European elections and finally learn the lessons of Brexit and start engaging more seriously with the citizens of the European Union. Thank you very much.